Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Pathish Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 5th November 2020. In the international market, U.S. Treasury yields fell Wednesday as the incoming results of the presidential election failed to show a clear winner between the incumbent President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. Though votes were still being counted, only results suggested a very good chance that Republicans, which is Donald Trump's party, will maintain the control of the Senate even if Joe Biden defeats President Trump to take White House. This means there would be a chaos between the Senate and the White House, resulting into lesser spending on pandemic relief and infrastructure projects, lower anticipated inflation in turn, and in turn, lower yields. Massive volatility was seen in yesterday's session where US 10-year touched a session high of 0.92 percentage points and finally settled at 0.78. Globally also, there was a rush to safe haven assets and Germany's 10-year yields fell to its lowest minus 0.67 percentage points. As of now, for the Senate, Democrats have 45 and Republicans have 48 and to control the Senate, one needs 51 seats. Hence, Donald Trump's Republicans have an upper hand here. For the president, Donald Trump has 214 and Joe Biden has 264. To win, one needs 270 and Joe Biden is much closer to the victory. But the possibility of Donald Trump going to challenge the mail-in ballots in court is increasing and investors are nervous on the situation. In the crude oil market, crude is now trading at $40.78 per barrel with no other magic catalyst in, th- in sight. We now advise our clients to square off the position. Remember, we had initiated a buy call on Monday at $37 and we now advise our clients to sell or square off that position. Profit of rupees three point se- of dollar three point seven in just four days. Absolute gain close to roughly around 10% in just three days. Our con models have been able to accurately grab this trading opportunity after sitting out for market for almost three to four months. Crude's short term range for today seems to be $39 to $42 per barrel. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is at 93.49 and is waiting for clear results for the US presidential race. Yesterday, with a day high of 94.3, it is back to a narrow range until the clear picture emerges. DXY's today's range seems to be 93.13 to 93.75. Meanwhile, USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is back to 6.65. USD INR on Monday with a high of 74.92 closed at 74.85. USD INR's range for today seems to be 74.20 to 74.50. The risk has subsided for now and for few of the risk taking clients, we were able to take USD INR short positions near the close of the trading day. We still maintain our stance of short USD INR with a strict stop loss at 75. We will advise our clients on when to square off that position in the domestic market. Government bond prices rose yesterday because of a sharp fall in US Treasury yields as the US presidential election is heading for a nail-biting finish with the counting of votes seen stretching into the next few days. The 10-year benchmark 577-2030 closed at 5.89 versus 590 yield on Tuesday. The close contest in the US election was a surprise for those who expected Biden to win comfortably, including us, Night Fintech. In the US election euphoria, we are losing our sight on Bihar elections. Bihar assembly elections are ending on 7th November. Why is it so important? The incumbent Nitish Kumar and BJP alliance is fighting to hold Bihar and the election results will pave the way for Indian government's next fiscal stimulus. The loss in Bihar for NDA will make sure the government spends enough for the poor, the lowest end of the pyramid with social spending. Now. India has limited room for fiscal spending as ballooning fiscal deficit is a concern. And if money is spent on social welfare, which has a low multiplier effect in the economic recovery, economists are now expecting a slower turnaround for the Indian economic recovery. Rather, economists are urging government to spend on infrastructure more, which has a higher multiplier impact and generate employment even for the lower end of the pyramid and has a better utilization of a rupee spent. 
we have to be keenly watching Indian government's fiscal stimulus, which may come before Diwali, Bihar election results, and post Bihar fiscal stimulus mood. This will define India's borrowing plan at the end of December quarter, if there is any, and next year's borrowing affecting bond yields directly. Please note that SDL auctions on Tuesday has given some early signs of hardships again with very high unexpected cutoffs for a couple of states and we have to watch this carefully to confirm a trend. For now, we do not see any major negativity in the bond market and trading as usual should continue. If you wish to optimize your bank treasury, help the profitability of your bank in this tough operating environment, make your treasury future growth ready. You may contact us at 9930307466 or research at nightfintech.com.